Welcome back to This Is Talking Sci-Fi with Sci-Fi Sean and... Just Randy. How you been doing? I'm doing good. Things are going good, right? It is, I'm yeah. having a great week. Uh, we're having a good uh, time. Uh, you enjoying your pool? Yeah, yeah. Some we you, we did a couple uh, of uh, podcasts a couple weeks ago, and my pool is in the background. We got a big I call it the redneck swimming pool. You get it at Walmart. It's one hundred and twenty eight dollars, and it's fifteen foot across and two and a half three foot deep. Are you uh, practicing to be on the Olympic team? No. Then there's nothing wrong with your pool. No, there's nothing wrong with it. But it blew up. Well, last night we get up and. Part of the water's missing out of it. Oh, God. It's got this big blow-up ring around it. Let's have a big cauldron. Randy will fill up a picture of it. Yeah. And Lori went out there and was like, Sean, Sean, something's wrong with the pool. And went out there and it was all deflated and half the water was out of it. And you could see where the water went over the edge. So evidently the the little ring around it that you blow up that keeps it floating on the water line yeah. had went out and it was dipping. So something that I've done with my family for since we were little kids is my mom and dad had a, a real white a real wide big giant pool like a in ground cement pond or whatever and my brother and I would be in it and we mom and dad would buy a watermelon and we'd put it in that pool and we'd play cannonball with it and shoot it back and forth right. you just couldn't drop it because if it hit the ball in the pool it would crack open and it'd be a mess that my dad would right. have to clean up because I ain't doing the pool work Right. I am now. I make Lori do most of the pool work. <laughs> so we got a little cannonball, seedless watermelon the other day, and we were playing around with it in the pool and throwing at each other. It was a lot of fun. And uh, my wife's lot lost a considerable amount of weight as of late. She's changed jobs and got a lot of stress off of her. And uh, she's looking good. So she was in there, and we were playing around in the pool. So we left the, the watermelon in the pool, so she comes up this morning and says, I think a raccoon must have went and got in the pool and tried to get the watermelon, and that's why it popped the pool. Well, there's no sign of a raccoon. I have a eight foot privacy fence around my house. I know raccoons can climb and all that stuff, but I just think that we're in tear because we've had the pool for almost three months now. Yeah. It probably wasn't made to stand up. So, right. enough about my personal life. This week, we've decided to talk about a fantastic film. It's in my top 10 of my most favorite films ever made. I watch it constantly. I watched it last night in anticipation for this, but I didn't have to. I quote it and talk about it constantly. It's called Galaxy Quest. Oh, it what was it? That's it. Yes. I thought it was Home Improvement. No, it is starring the guy that was in Home Improvement. And, oh, and the guy that I was must have watched the wrong movie. And the guy that, uh, did the, the did Buzz Lightyear, but Buzz oh. Lightyear was not in this. And there was no references to uh, Home Improvement. Well, it's probably not very good. If it doesn't that, have Buzz Lightyear. Guy? What is that guy's name? Tim Allen. Tim, a- Tim Allen. He stars as the captain of the USS. Um, God darn it, what's the name? What is it? It's not USS. What is it? Uh, the Galaxy Quest ship. What's the name of it? It's not a USS. I know it's not a USS. I can't remember. I, anyway, and it's not even on fine, here. What it, put it right here when you when you find it. I got it. you. I anyway, got you. it's a great movie. I'm sure everyone has seen it. It is probably one of the most funniest satire kind of a movie. Anybody that thinks Sigourney Wien- Wiener. Wiener is sexy has seen it. <laughs> Sigourney, Sigourney Wiener. Wiener. <laughs> <laughs> you wish. That's what you... That's, that's what I you wish she has a wiener? Yeah, yeah. What was what that? Oh, what yeah, there Wait, you go. Wait, here with the name of it. Hold on. What is what it? Is what it? is it? It is... It is... You were right. It was USS. It's no. not USS. It's NTE 3120? I don't know. Next numbers. No, I'll t- oh, the protector. That's what I was going with. The protector. Oh man. Anyway, it's a badass ship. Um, so there's hey, there's Lori. Ah. Uh, anyway, uh, basically, it's. I'm sure everyone's been to a convention. I'm sure everybody's been to a Star Trek convention. You go to the conventions. There's people dressed up as Klingons, Romulans, and the, and the crew of the ship. So, Galaxy Quest was the name of a television show made. In the 80s, 80s. I guess. Yeah, yeah. And, you can go uh, with that. It starred this crew, and, and they're emulating Star Trek. So they have this Galaxy Quest con. So people are coming, and all this, and the actors are getting older. Um, Sir Groney Wiener is uh, getting older. And, She's still sexy. Uh, Alan Ruckman. <laughs> yeah. And uh, who played uh, Snake Nick's, yeah. on there you Harry, go. Potter. Harry Potter. He's in it. Um, uh, what's his name? Oh my God, Guy. What is his name? Crunk, crunk. The Honk. The Honk. The what's Honk. What's his name, Lord? Crunk. Sam Rockwell. 
Sam Rockwell is in it. I can't. We lose what, names. What was that season of stuff he played in where he was afraid of germs? He was in. Uh, um, uh, is it the honk? The hunk? The, the monk. Monk. There monk. you go. I'm calling yeah, him the monk's hunk. in it. Yep, he's yeah. the, the chief security officer. Sam yeah. Rockwell was in the second Iron Man movie as a, a hammer. The guy that was. Oh yeah 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 with, okay yes. Yeah, that, he was the one trying to be a part of the team. Correct. Yes, right, right, yes. Right. He was he a great be, part. His no. technology was better than Tony Stark's team. Yeah. Anyway, great cast characters. Um, it's basically the, um, they've sent these broadcasts out into space and this alien race um, called the, the Termites. Happened to be watching they this. They were Termians. Right. They called them Termites. Yeah. Like, they were Termites or something. <laughs> so they find it and think it's real. So they're coming. They build, a, they build them a ship like the protector right what is the protector and they come and scoop up all the cast members thinking that we're going to have them on our ship because we're having this alien guy come trying to attack us. us right Ceres which is a lizard looking guy yeah. kind of Klingonish versus a Klingon and a Gorn together I love that Gorn meme you put up the oh days. did you yeah oh, I, I'll, with the, s- I'll, I'll I'll buy guy to insurance <laughs> I love that a lot of people like that yeah. one. check out Randy's memes on the Facebook page they're awesome anyway they come and get the crew and they go on a big adventure, yada yada yada. They're they're freaked out. They they don't re- they're, they're trying to play this part, but they realize we're just actors, and we can't do this. Well, the acting thing is what changes around and realize we need to grasp or or clutch our, our craft, and we can do this. And that's what Tim Allen does until shit hits the fan, and right. they have to activate the Omega Thirteen, which is this really weird device. <clears throat> and, Sean, I'm going to tell you something. One of the best parts of this is when they are talking amongst each other and they're like, we can't do this. Our ships on the TV are not actually functional. They're only this big. Right, yeah, but one of them goes, you're asking me to start the engine and go into hyperspace or whatever, and on the program, all I do is push the blue button. And the alien goes, we built this around your show. Your emotions and all that. So all you do is push a blue button and he'd go, awesome, awesome. I loved it. See, on on a TV show, this was just a box with a bunch of Christmas lights on it. That was what our Omega 13 looked like. Right, yeah. Anyway... If you haven't seen it, watch it. It is a great. It's family. It's clean. It's uh, there is a little bit of brief nudity in it, but it doesn't really. It shows Tim Allen's ass. Yeah. But just uh, like a quick glimpse. And who doesn't want to look at Tim Allen's ass? I mean, he's a great guy. Big conservative guy, by the mm-hmm. way. Love his acting. He's been in so many different things. They've talked about doing another one, a sequel. Oh, really? Yes. Um, They've done a special on it because it passed some anniversary a few months ago. And the, most of the cast got together and was talking about it. And they did one of those, what I hate, those talk over the movie things. You yeah. Know, where they you put the commentaries on there, but the whole movie's a commentary. What was that called where the sat in the, I loved it. They sat in a the theater, a robot, and a My, talking Mystery peach. Mystery Science Fiction, fiction theater, theater, theater 3000. 3000. There you go. Mystery Science Fiction 3000. I hated that show. I thought it was stupid. <laughs> yeah, we ought to do something Best like thing, that. <laughs> yeah, I know. I do. Best thing about that show, that uh, Mystery Science Fiction Theater, my good friend Don, uh, one of, it was my best man in my first wedding. Story for another day. Um, he built a giant, the one that looks like a gumball machine. Oh, really? And a crow, and I can't remember the other robot's name. Look it up and throw it up on here. But he's yeah. a little like the bubblegum machine. But he built one, he got in and walked around, and I thought it was really awesome. Galaxy Quest. Uh, I rate it uh, 0 to 10. I give it a 10 plus. You do? I, I think I'm it was high. I give it an 8, 8.5, eight 9. Special effects are great. Acting's fantastic. It's funny. It keeps you guessing. There's a lot of references to other science fiction, mostly yeah. Star Trek, because they're trying to emulate Star yeah. Trek in it a little but bit. There's nothing better when they crash land into the Comic Con. Yeah, because they're shooting fireworks <laughs> off and you're all into that. <laughs> Here, let's get some Roman candles. Hey, man. <laughs> that kid. Yeah, well, they come and walking out, out and they're yeah. like, ah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And he they is. start shooting with little Nerf guns. That was so funny, man. You got to watch. Hey, he wanted to be a part of the show. What, what was it he is? He's been in a, a couple other things. What, the kid? Yeah. Yeah. He's been mm. in a couple. I can't remember. Yeah. Look it up and throw it up on here. Let me do a whole list of it. So, Galaxy Quest, uh, 
God, I, I loved it. I, I, I actually want to watch it again this afternoon. Yeah. To be honest with you. It's a great movie. I watch it over and over. But tell us what you guys think of Galaxy Quest. Send us uh, your comments on our Facebook page. And we might even mention you on the show. And yeah. we've done that a lot lately. So, yeah. that being said, um, we're going to talk about another great show on our next podcast called The Orville, which will remind yes, you a sir. lot of this movie. So, are we good? Yeah, we're good. All right, sounds great. We will yeah. talk to you next time on This is Talking Sci-Fi with Sci-Fi Sean and... Just Randy. And remember, by Grandpa's hammer, I will avenge you. Stay safe. Welcome to Talking Sci-Fi. And your host and starring, Sci-Fi Sean... And just ran.